Hello friends, welcome to my channel uh, Data Tech. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, how to access the uh, Facebook API using Python. Okay, this is the continuation uh, to the our uh, Python uh, uh, series. Okay, so let us discuss how to connect the, uh, the Facebook API. So what you need to know is uh, you need to create a Facebook account. Okay, <clears throat> once you create a Facebook account, okay, you can go to the uh, developer console of uh, Facebook. Okay, then you can create a application to uh, get the credential like which is access key uh, access token and then you can use that uh, uh, token to access the uh, APIs so you have different kind of APIs in Facebook uh, so you will see how to access that so first thing is uh, you need to <coughs> create a Facebook account just uh, log on to the uh, bits uh, uh, open the facebook.com okay once you open the facebook.com just uh, uh, in the create account just uh, give the uh, your name okay and then you can provide the uh, the credential like uh, username username password basically username basically you need to provide uh, either a mobile number or uh, email id okay so whatever is convenient for you you can just choose it okay so let's minimize uh, move my recording window a little bit down okay yeah so basically <coughs> you just uh, uh, choose your uh, uh, account information okay uh, then provide the uh, date of birth okay and then uh, your gender and click on the sign up button so then once you click on you will get a notification uh, for uh, some OTP kind of thing okay the confirmation code okay just uh, go and check in your mail and use that uh, confirmation code to <coughs> the prompt uh, open the, the prompted window okay just take that uh, <coughs> take that confirmation code from your email and then enter this uh, uh, code in the confirmation window so once you've done that uh, just uh, click on the ok to confirm so once you created uh, uh, so you'll be opened with uh, the main page home page of the uh, facebook okay so the main page is if open okay then you actually navigate to the uh, you can navigate to the another console okay means uh, another uh, tab in your chrome or any browser and um, browse the uh, url which is uh, developer.facebook.com okay okay so sorry for the interruption okay so once you uh, open this uh, uh, url okay then uh, you will be uh, uh, prompted with your uh, your account okay and then say uh, create a facebook uh, account for a developer account okay create a facebook for developer account okay then click on next okay then it will ask you your mobile number because it has to send the otp to your number confirmation code again this is for your uh, developer account verification the previous done what we done is is a facebook account verification okay just uh, enter uh, your e uh, mobile number and uh, click on send as a text then you get a uh, confirmation code just enter that in the confirmation code here and click on uh, verify button okay once you click on the verify button so you will be prompted with uh, what kind of role uh, you are so that uh, uh, it's, it's it will basically it's, it used to capture your uh, uh, role information okay so click on student okay so student or whatever uh, role uh, uh, thing you are uh, specifying just to click on that then uh, once you uh, specify a role okay uh, <clears throat> then it will actually open another window saying a create first application so welcome to facebook for developers and it will prompt you for uh, uh, create a first app okay so click on that so you can give the name what is the app name so i given as a demo app and followed by you can uh, provide the uh, the gmail id okay so basically no, not a gmail id so any any id so your confirmation uh, contact email id okay just provide that and click on uh, create app id once you create it will just uh, prompt you for security check and then uh, you will be opened with this window see facebook for developers window and you see dashboard in the left pan okay 
and then uh, you will see other uh, products in the uh, developer uh, facebook developer you got a application id for uh, the application which you created okay then you can click on this tool but tool button in the top and uh, click on the uh, graph uh, ip ap explorer so once you click on that uh, you will get uh, this uh, uh, kind of uh, <coughs> the postman uh, 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 API window like uh, you can make the request right to get request post request kind of thing so that window will, will be like so basically you need access key to make a, a API request so what you need to do is click on this get token um, the drop down and click on get user access token and then it will be prompted which which type of uh, uh, select the permission for which data you want access basically there are a lot of different data you can access like uh, user data permission uh, events group pages information and which one you want access so basically uh, i'm uh, to, to start with i'm actually i'm using uh, going to start the user data uh, permission so just i uh, click on this so basically whichever uh, field you need it like uh, which are the field you want access photos you want access videos you want access post i am more interested on uh, uh, the general uh, user information plus post okay so once click on that just click on get access token and it will it will say something like this okay so continue as your uh, user okay and then uh, it is actually uh, submit for login review kind of information it's just a kind of warning message it should store then uh, what you need to just say continue as uh, your user okay then uh, you will actually prom uh, you will be uh, previously it was empty here now it has given the access token so just to, to test in it in uh, browser itself you can click on this submit button okay so if you click on that uh, you will get this the name of the user okay so and the id for that okay this is how you can actually access the uh, you can create a uh, um, uh, developer account in facebook and get the access key uh, details and you can make the request now with this uh, uh, access token user access token i'm going to make this api call from the uh, python okay so for that one it what you need to do is i'll just open my uh, uh, pycharm okay so basically you need to install a package called facebook sdk so facebook provides uh, different sdks okay for different languages so i'm going to use this uh, sorry for the interruption okay so uh, so you need to install this uh, facebook iphone uh, sdk package in the from the python um, libraries uh, packages so you can uh, install using a sudo uh, pip install facebook iphone sdk so if you install this it will install the package called facebook so you can start using it so once you install that just uh, i'm going to in, um, import json and this package and uh, I just given you this uh, uh, <coughs> the access token which I am going to use it. Okay, so uh, okay, so this this is the access token I am going to use it which I generated uh, just now. Okay, then uh, uh, just uh, write a function. So in the from the uh, small main function which I am going to call from this uh, the <coughs> entry point of the Python program. Okay. So the main program, what is this? Uh, is just a token equal to the, the access token, and you need to create an um, object for graph API. Okay, just Facebook dot graph API pass the token, and you get object. So from here, you are going to call this different uh, API methods. For uh, first, I am going to call the get object, and you pass the profile ID, which is I am going to get my information. So I just say me, and the fields, which are the fields I am interested. So I am going to you access first name location uh, link and email address and post i want to show you the uh, post which i posted in my uh, basically this account uh, just uh, then once you get the profile it will have this with the information uh, then this printing okay so basically i'm going to uh, get this information right so basically once you have profile object uh, it will have the the result of uh, the your uh, basic information and the post you posted so i'm just going to post what is the type of uh, uh, the profile object and then uh, json dot dub so basically i'm going to convert that uh, uh, 
uh, especially it will come as dictionary then i'm going to convert it as a, a string and show you here okay so yeah that's it so we'll run let's run this program and check so basically i'll show you what i posted in my recent uh, uh, my sample the sample account it's not my personal account okay so for uh, <coughs> trying something different things okay so uh, move this okay so i just uh, recently posted this uh, uh, how to create a, a vm on uh, um, a google cloud uh, google cloud right so basically i posted that uh, link here okay then there are few posts uh, how to enable the uh, <coughs> free trial account in gcp those all are i posted few uh, one or three one or two post i posted in this account so let's uh, uh, retrieve this information and uh, uh, using this uh, uh, um, python package for facebook ap so let's run this okay so it has retrieved so basically what it has uh, retrieved is uh, i just say printing profile so this is the uh, it's a dictionary object whatever we get and we just printing as a string here see uh, so you see here uh, paging it says data it's in the post in the post you have you get a, a array of a post you made basically one so i posted this here, right uh, local information this about gcp another also all all post are with respect to gcp which i posted okay this one yeah two post i made i think two or three post i made it and this is my email id and then this is my location and this is my id of this profile okay so and i just printed what is the uh, type of uh, the formatted this is string actually so this is how you can make the uh, 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 access to the api uh, facebook api and you can get this information and you can do some analysis on this so so basically i just want to uh, show you how to access the uh, facebook api using python so um, so please subscribe to my channel uh, data tech okay and also click on bell button to get notification whenever i add new videos okay uh, please uh, 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 go through this video and uh, try from your side try from your side if you get any uh, issue which you can post on uh, uh, my youtube uh, uh, um, video content uh, video comment section okay so see you in the next section uh, next video so thank you so much friends